So I use triple track with the driver all the time. In putting, I use it some of the time and I use it differently all three ways. So inside of six feet, when I really want to commit to a line and I know that the, the brake is just outside the left edge, I will line up the lines just outside the left edge. I'll stand behind it, make sure it's lined up correctly. I can see that it is. And what this does is if it were just a single line, I know that it's just outside the left edge. When I stand over it, it doesn't always look like it, but with triple track, it does. So as I stand over it, I know that this putt is aimed just outside the left edge. I know that's where I want to hit it, and it just makes it a lot easier to commit to that line. As I get further back and there's a lot more break, I keep the lines at the hole, but I set it down where there's only white on top. And actually what I'm doing here now is I'm checking for the roll as I putt. I just want to see and use it as feedback for how well I rolled the ball. And I'm looking at the lines there and probably miss hit a little bit. As I get further back, I actually lay the lines across because now I don't want to really interfere with feedback. I just want the ball to kind of roll and I'm not really looking for too specific of, of, of feedback. I just want, it's a long putt, it breaks more, and I just want to get it rolling and really not try to judge the stroke or the putt. So those are the three ways that I use triple track in putting.